Hello, my name's Mark. Welcome to Living La Dolce Vida. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Living La Dolce Vita. Uh, big welcome to my uh, subscribers and any new subscribers that have come on, board, come on board recently. Anyway, so here I am, having a bit of a chill down the allotment. So I thought uh, just give you a quick update on how things are progressing down here. And uh, we'll see how it's, see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are, we're starting at the top and of course as you can see now, the mustard, the green manure I've put down is well away, really, really ish. Now we're talking about, uh, well in this patch, any part of it, we're looking about 8-9 inches tall, uh, going to get even taller eventually, so that's got well covering, well covered. Uh, Doing okay for courgette. The uh, should be. there's one there. I'm not going to pick him now, but I'll, uh, and I can see one up here, and there's another one up there. So, if, and that's just three plants. It's, in fact, it's three plants is just too much for my use. <laughs> there's only so many things you can do with courgettes. Uh, so, uh, these brassicas coming along reasonably well. Um, runner beans. Now, of course, these have gone over. You know, you, you, these would be too tough to eat. Um, now, because I've got plenty of French beans and stuff at home, I'm just going to leave these going out to seed, and I'll collect the seed off them and uh, use those for stews, etc. So, uh, yesterday, I was it yesterday or the day be no day before yesterday, I spent quite a bit of time. I went, I've, hand weeded all the way through this this second row of asparagus and a little um, three-pronged tool to uh, you know work the soil a bit so that's nice and clean of weed now I'm gonna go back over this stretch again just to uh, get any weed that's coming back up so that's looking good Fennel seems to be doing okay. I'll have to see whether, if I need to cover them over for the seed because I'm, I'm sure the birds are eating the seeds before I get a chance to get them. But um, anyway, and of course, more green manure. Now I had to reseed this area because it just because the weather was so hot, it just wasn't didn't show anything. And um, but it seems to be uh, coming now that we've had a drop of rain and. Uh, once it gets established, it'll, it'll, the roots will go down deeper for the, for the moisture. So that's coming along nicely. Uh, obviously these are button squash. Now they are starting to trail out, and so I, don't, I may tie them to the fence to train, train them up the fence. But as I've said in a previous video, I don't think they're going to come to anything, because we're now coming towards the end of August, and uh, it's, it hasn't even set any fruit yet. So. So I don't think it's going to do anything. But there we are. It's worth a try. Um, more green manure. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yes, this is uh, all coming up nicely. Yeah, it looks like cats have been through here. Yeah? The trails. Now I've... Uh, from what I can work out, curly kale. Well, curly kale I've grown before. It's grown, grown quite tall. But I've started picking this now because I thought, well, I might as well. The uh, I've got so many plants and brassicas and cabbages coming, etc. So I might as well start using it rather than just making it look pretty. Uh, no, I don't know if you can see. Let's try and get this angle. But um, I've put obviously green manure, uh, green manure on all this patch now. But I've put mustard. Uh, what else have I put? Clo uh, crimson clover, which is an annual version, and the ryegrass, so a mix basically. 
So I'll uh, just, uh, just experiment and see how that comes. You know, it won't hurt the soil. I've now thinned out my raspberries to cut down all the old canes that are fruited and uh, yeah, so it's looking a bit sparse, or sparse I should say. Apples looking, coming good, but I've noticed the birds are starting to eat, having to go up my apples, so these bigger ones I think I'm going to start picking. I've just picked one and it's uh, quite sweet, so I think it's time to pick them, get them out of the way. Um, and the rest I've just basically covered over. So, uh, that's the latest update. Uh, and then I've got to think about what I'm going to do with this patch, whether I'm going to put um, a polytunnel back there, a proper, a decent polytunnel this time, or what to do, really. Anyway, we shall see, time will tell. Uh, so that's the latest. I've got a nice drop of sunshine again. Um, okay. So I didn't film it yesterday, but I went on a went up to Herefordshire um, for a, what they call a fly in, a fly in. Uh, but the exception is I didn't fly in; I drove in. <laughs> Uh, it was too windy, um, and you know it's and the runway or well, the airfield was quite a short airfield, about three, three, four, three to four hundred meters long, which is not very long for a lot of planes. But uh, I mean, it's doable. But when you've got a strong wind as well and a crosswind, it gets a bit uh, marginal. So there's no point in taking a risk. Anyway, we had a, a nice couple of burgers and a uh, bottle of beer, only one, mind, and. Uh, Yes, it was very nice. So, a uh, bit of a chill out yesterday. Right, so, oh, I've just spotted an apple that's fallen on the ground. So might as well pick it up, maybe in good nick, I don't know. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, yeah. So, these are a James Greaves variety. Oh, right, that's come off easily. Now, this is supposed to be like an autumn variety. I don't want to pick too many because I've got one pair of hands. Hmm, okay. Seems to be alright. Sometimes they shed an apple or two just to... as a result of stress. So that could... could be. But I, I like these particular apples because um, you can, they're like a dual purpose. You can use them as a cooking apple and um, as an eating apple, which is great because, uh, you know, and the advantage with these is they've got the sweetness. It means you don't have to use sugar. Because with a cooking apple, like a Bramley, you, you tend, tend to add sugar to um, make it sweet, basically. <laughs> so with these, you don't. And I'm trying to cut down on my sugar as much as possible. Okay, so uh, what's the plans for the uh, coming forward? Well, I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to go back over the first row of asparagus that I weeded a few weeks ago. I'm going to redo that. I must now start carrying on cutting the hedge. I'm not going to obviously cut it all in one go, but I'll just do like I usually try and do six to eight foot sections at the time, which is manageable and it's, it's surprising if you, the thinking behind it if you do six foot you know it's divisible isn't it into yards and stuff so uh, I know it's only psychological but you know that's the way I work my brain works uh, but I found six foot at a time a six foot section at a time is you know just about right amount of energy to exp expend <laughs> yeah anyway now then uh, what else I'm going to be going doing I'm not really sure about 
this tea anymore. As I say, I've they're very they're a very sour fruit even when they're well ripe. And well, well that's the point because there's no point in growing stuff if I don't like it. And with the gooseberries, same thing. I don't eat really eat the gooseberries, so what I may end up doing is moving these again and uh, getting rid of the tayberry. Take the posts out, move the gooseberry or gooseberries. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's supposed to be. I think that might have been a, a red currant, but it's and then just move them all back down there again. We'll see anyway. There's no rush for it. It'll be the autumn time before I do that. And of course, uh, down here on the bottom patch will be. I'm going to clear this, this area here. Uh, take those posts out because that's where the um, autumn raspberries are. Well, you know, it's not a, not, not that a waste of time, but you know, it's, I just get enough summer raspberries, and I, well, I don't use, I put in the freezer, so it's more than enough for my use. So I can open this up, I'll leave that pear tree that's down there, but I'll open this up and then I'll, I don't know what I'll do with it yet, just use, use it for potatoes or something. We'll see. Uh, may, maybe put more fruit bushes over here instead. Right, so um, that's it for now. Okay, everybody, so uh, hope you're all doing fine. And uh, I shall see you in the next film. Hope this is not too long. Okay, bye for now.